who led not only mine workers struggle but also the party because it is recorded leadership in the work done factory by factory by Ray Alexandra to recruit and unionize the fishing, the clothing, the laundry and many other workers up and down the Western Cape over many years. And whilst we loud this proud history, we must always remember that we cannot afford to rest on our laurels when workers are under siege. So we need to hear from this Congress what role the party sees itself in helping to unionize workers. We want this Congress to help us in understanding how will the party help to conscientize workers in helping to build and unite diverse unions in strong sectors wide within our affiliates in helping leadership to popularize and mobilize workers to support the campaigns of COSATU and that of our affiliates. And we want to report to this Congress that indeed we are allies. Indeed, the SACP and COSATU are the left axis of our movement. But we must also remember that our organizations are independent independent member mandated formations and therefore we must also respect each other's organizational processes and mandates but we need comrades to learn from our painful lessons factions are dressed up with ideological clothing but they have divided our organizations and weakened our movement So what is the role of the party, we ask. And we're asking because this is a question that the Congress should endeavor to answer. Many have written off the party. They did so with the collapse of the socialist bloc across the world in 1990. Yet the party has survived against difficult odds. We have seen the membership of the party grow. We have seen the party leaders play critical roles in government. Now, as the party seeks to grow even further, it needs to reflect on what it is doing to build its organizational capacity. If it wants to attract workers to its ranks, the party needs to be seen to have the ability to implement its revolutionary demands. So therefore, leadership, Congress should reflect on what is the correct balance between full-time leaders and leaders deployed to government, and how do those deployees implement decisions of the party in government? It's gonna be important. It is going to be important, comrades, for this Congress to engage upon what is our vision for socialism in South Africa. The YCL was singing his holy city, 100 years, socialism. So it's going to be important for this Congress to engage upon what is a clear vision for socialism in South Africa. What will be its South African characteristics? What is its foundation and building blocks? What is our road to building it within our lifetime? We must therefore answer these questions if we are to end the support of workers. Because Abanye Bati socialism, it's like a mirage. This man has said in our lifetime, your time comes to an end. No mnuya figati in our lifetime, your time comes to an end. Socialism, I defeat. So every time you get close to it, it goes further away. Abanye Bati driver, you kagne langa, you would know. Mirage, landing on a man's. You think there's water there every time you get closer, the land is dry. Let us heed a 
Amika Cabral wise words, comrades, when he said, and I quote, hide nothing from the masses of our people. Tell no lies. Expose lies wherever they are told. Mask no difficulties, mistakes, failures. Claim no easy victories, close quote. So the party has been a progressive voice the party spoke well when they opposed state capture and the lack of transformation in the private sector. But comrades, this is not enough. Workers need to hear the party's voice when nurses and teachers are denied their UH increase. Workers' comrades did not hear or see the party when government, in which leadership of the party serves, chose to renege upon a side weight agreement and blatantly undermine collective bargaining in the public sector. The silence has been deafening. Comrades, workers need to hear the party when workers are sent home without salaries at SA Express when workers are retrenched at SAE. Workers need to hear the party when municipal workers in Amatole are paid with pick and pay vouchers. Police and correctional service officers need to hear the party when government refuses to increase workers' wages, comrades, and instead offers non-pensionable cash graduate, while its members of cabinet and parliament pay themselves increases. <laughs> comrades, workers need to hear the part. Workers need to hear the part when workers are not paid, wherever they are, and for whomever they work for. Because we cannot condemn the private sector employers for abusing the rights of workers and be silent when government and the alliance does the same to those that are working for them. We cannot be silent. So workers, they want to hear their vanguard part. We want to acknowledge, as Kosat, that on labor laws that are passed by our parliament, they are presided over by our Minister of Employment and Labour, and they are binding to all of us. So we must lead from the front when it comes to enforcing and respecting the rights of workers. And the Federation will not be silent when it comes to the rights of workers and the laws of the Republic. Leadership of the party. Workers are under siege like never before since the 1994 breakthrough. As we know, unemployment is sitting at 45%. 2.2 million jobs have been lost since 2020. Workers and the working class are drowning in debt. Many key SOEs have collapsed, others are dying. Many municipalities are collapsing. Those who are lucky to still have jobs are drowning in debt. We know the economy is at its deepest recession. Productivity is now disrupted by the collapsing metro rail, the load shedding that we're having. So we are coming to this Congress to say that it is critical for this Congress to be seized with developing practical solutions to these real crises that are devastating to the lives of workers. There are a lot of work that we have done at the level of network. And we want to also say that we have worked very well with different ministers, others coming from the party, the level of network to ensure that we have made huge improvements under the difficult situation that we have been faced with in the past two and a half years. But there are a number of victories that we have managed to score as the, as the Federation. But we also want the support of the party on the economic reconstruction and recovery plan. And we want to emphasize that this is not a policy, comrades.
but it is just an imp it is about implementing existing commitments and immediate interventions to kickstart our economy in particular to save ESCOM and other key SOEs. We are saying as workers to this Congress of our Vanguard, there can be no re economic recovery without capacitated developmental state. And we want to say our state is in real danger of imploding. Companies are closing because municipalities cannot pay basic services or provide them. Workers are being pickpocketed by the state due to billions that have been lost to corruption. Public service workers and the economy are choking because government is simply running out of the revenue. So we are asking comrades, when our state-owned entities <clears throat> are dying as we meet, <clears throat> a decade ago, these SOEs were world-class institutions that delivered upon their developmental and economic mandates, spared economic growth and supported jobs. Today, they are bleeding. The state they are bleeding the state, they are retrenching workers, they are suffocating the economy. The party spoke passionately in defense of South African airways. We want to acknowledge that. But what we have not heard was the party speak out in defense of other key state entities, ESCOM, Transnet, and Metro Rail. And we believe, comrades, that these SOEs can and must be safe. So what is the party's view on the appropriate SOE model? Can this Congress help us? Are there best practices from China or Vietnam that we should learn from? Which sectors of the economy should the state be involved in? And in what manner and form? We want this Congress to help us. But we want to say, comrades, that also if we are to salvage and save our national democratic revolution, then we must cleanse the ANC and rebuild the alliance. We cannot afford to see the ANC further deteriorating. The ANC needs the party and COSATU to help cleanse it of its demons, of its corruption, of its factionalism, and of its, of its hooliganism. The, part, the ANC needs COSATU and the party. Because, comrades, if we fail to rebuild the ANC, then we're in real danger of losing the 2024 elections. It is not a secret. Comrades, an ANC which fails to secure 51% in the local government elections will struggle to form a coalition with opposition parties. And Agako Uhulmende Oseben Zelabandu Uhulmende Womkiti. Uhulmende where you know, party, bring your own. EPOB. There's nothing because So if parties, if the ANC is gonna be proud of leading a government of a coalition, it will be those that are in in government that will be eating, and the rest of the masses will still be waiting under the table for the crumbs that will fall on top of the table. Because comrades, in the government of coalition, it is about leaders at the table negotiating about themselves and not about the electorate. So we can't therefore shy away 
in helping the ANC as Kosato and the party to rebuild itself, rebuild the movement, rebuild the alliance, because we need a decisive victory in 2024 of the African National Congress. Former President Becky is correct when he said there can be no unity with criminals. Comrades, those who have broken the law must go to prison no matter of their status in life. Jails are not meant for the, for the, for the poorest of the poor in this country. The judiciary system is not meant to find guilty the poorest of the poor in this country. Then we think there's justice. Justice system must serve everyone, including sending high-profile politicians who have broken the law to jail because they have stolen from the public purse, they have stolen from the poor. Sing a mobilizani to defend people who have stolen from the poor. <laughs> to defend socialism so we are saying as a federation, the failure of the NPA, the SACP and judiciary to ensure that the most senior criminals amongst us go to jail is exactly why the nation, the movement and workers are in a crisis that we are in. Let's not politicize. These processes, you always find a way of saying it's a political conspiracy. When a leader is stealing, he's doing it for his people about close school. When he is caught or she is caught, it's a political conspiracy. It cannot be. Comrades, Kosato and workers are not wrong to place faith in President Ramaphosa in 2017 and in the ANC in 2019. That is why we think we need to help to restore the ANC to its path. To once again make it a movement that O.R. Tambo and Krisani will be proud of. And to do this we need a vibrant, a united, a working class orientated SACP at the forefront. We need a party that provides clarity of vision that Joe Slovo so often did. And allow me, as I conclude, wishing this Congress well on behalf of Kosatu and say that your task delegates is indeed a daunting one. The challenges that are facing the working class are immense. Workers are looking to the party to provide concrete and sober plan of action in defense of the working class and the clear roadmap to building socialism. So this Congress must play its role in restoring the liberation to its historic path and in saving our national democratic revolution and our gains and we want to wish you a successful 15th National Congress. Amanda, thank you very much.
15th uh, uh, co uh, SA Communist Party uh, National Congress, we're seeing a lot of familiar faces there as uh, uh, a leadership change is expected over the weekend. You just heard the president of the Congress of South African Trade Unions, Zingisa Losi, uh, throwing uh, some bombs there, uh, saying that the demise of state-owned entities is on the hands of this current leadership. She says an ANC which fails to form 51% at local government elections will struggle uh, to work uh, with other parties and forming coalitions, saying this is not desirable saying that we need a decisive victory in 2024. She says a decisive victory in 2024 is required for the ANC if the uh, ruling party is to maintain any semblance of influence in the country's uh, trajectory. And she says those who've broken the law, or she got a lot of uh, applause as she was going along, but on this one, you, can, you could hear a bit of disgruntlement in the room when she said, those who've broken the law must go to prison because they've stolen from the public purse and they've stolen from the poor. To last mercy is on the podium. Let's take you back the there. Workers. We have heard their cries, their concerns, what they need from the party. But also the important message that there can be no unity in the alliance with criminals. We must be very clear about that. Thank you very much, Comrade President of Kosatu, on behalf of the workers. Very refreshing on the issues which you have raised to remind us. Uh, Comrade has agreed we had agreed that after this we're moving to the presentation of the 14th Congress Central Committee political report to this Congress. And we had agreed that we'll be spreading the messages of support throughout the day. At this stage, I'll call none other than the General Secretary, Comrade Blade in demand to come and present a report. There's another hand here and another hand. Uh, YCL. from the 10th province, which is the Young Communist League of South Africa. <laughs> Chairperson, um, I'm not intend we are not intending to delay Congress. However, there is an outstanding matter. One, I have a clarity. When is the Young Communist League going to do its message of support? Secondly, Chair, there's an outstanding item in line with the resolve we did yesterday, where the chairperson clearly indicated that uh, the leadership was going to deal with an outstanding matter where we clearly indicated as the Young Communist League that the political report cannot be uh, presented before the message 
of before the message of support of the African National Congress. Therefore, Chair, we are requesting the leadership to report back on that item because we still need to be engaged on it. Because our understanding is that the highest decision making body is Congress. Therefore, we are still awaiting for the leadership to present on that item so that we can engage because we still believe that we can proceed with this item of the political report chairperson. Therefore, we are waiting for the recommendation, then we can engage on it. It must be tested because Chair, we do not want to see the party doing things which are not our culture. We are jealous of this party. Therefore, we still maintain that the political report can be presented first. We want the ANC to articulate its message of support, then the political report. Thank you. Uh, there was a hand here. Which province is this? Western Cape. This province. Sorry? Moses Mapida. They are here, comrades. The mic. Bring the mic forward, comrade. Where's the mic which was used by YCL? Thank you, Chairperson. It's Peggy Shandu from Moses Mapida province. In line with what we believe it's outstanding, Chairperson, that was not finalized yesterday. And in our bid also to save Congress going forward, Chairperson, we dealt with issues of minutes which were not reflected in the program. We want to believe that even if there are challenges related to minutes, but they must be located within the program and been spoken to so that in future we do not allow a situation where the Congress will sit and not receive all the documents as demanded by the Constitution. It is our view that minutes form part of those documents which must be tabled to that end. We strongly submit that we must not move forward before we clarify the issue of minutes of the previous Congress. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you. Western Cape. Thank you very much, Chair. I think the first thing was to agree that the YCL has to speak before the general section. But the second thing, in light or in line, with the spirit of our agreement of, on yesterday about what form of management will be done in the program, we deserve an update as to how far that process has gone. I, I don't want to, I do think that the letter speaker the, in relation to minutes, they might not be read, but I think we must get that explanation as to where are they. Thank you, comrades. Uh, comrades. Chair, chair, chair. So, sorry, Chair. I, I think the issue of mics, Chair, I think is going to disrupt us. We do need mics along the, as, as usual, Chair, so that it can help us and minimize time. Thank you. Thank you, comrades. Comrades, uh, the issue of what you raised yesterday. The answer is going to be coming. Wait, comrade, wait. You will be able to get a report. But what you must not do, comrades, what you must not do, there's nothing, not even a single Congress, where messages of support come after the political report. You can go to history of all our organizations. There's nothing like that which you're talking about is a tradition. It has happened, I mean, before. 
what has happened is whether you go to the ANC, you go to COSATU, to the party previous conferences, the political report is always the first thing to be, to, be, to be presented. Then all other issues follow. So to say there's a particular tradition, that's incorrect, comrades. Secondly, second, it's like that, comrades. Secondly, comrades, if you want to propose as you are proposing, say you are proposing that, don't say it's a tradition. A tradition is in the rally that all speakers speak, then the main, the main report or the main message comes from the main organization. That's what happens? That's the tradition which happens, not in Congresses. You can go and look at your documents in terms of how messages of support are spread over a, a period of the Congress. Uh, comrades, when I started this, I said, we will listen to COSATU. After that, we go to the Secretariat report. That's what I said. And I said, is there any objection? There was none. If comrades came late, they cannot take us back. No, no, comrade, put your hand down. If comrades came late, they are not going to take us back. I'm very resolute on that. And I want to move. So if you still want to argue this, the comrade YCL is going to have his time as we spread these messages of support. So if you are raising this issue, comrades, we are not going to debate it. I'll call you out of order, but let me give you an opportunity at the YCL there. Then there's a comrade at the back. No. Thank you, Chair. Chair, we, we are going to be seeming chairs if we are going back and forth. Because we take one decision, we have one understanding, and the leadership correctly probably feels that we should take a different approach on that particular matter. But what the leadership does not do is to come back and be one with Congress about that it has now changed its approach. That's what, that's what the problem ha happens. Because yesterday, Chair, there was an agreement that the Program Coordinating Committee was going to go and sit and discuss on how the program was going to be managed and come back to Congress and give an indication on how that process was going to do. That, Chair, did not happen. What happened is that, Chair, you opened uh, today's session and you said we are going to spread messages of support, um, we have managed Congress, and you only said COSAT will going to come. That, the second issue of the Secretary Report, you are mentioning it now. It's a pity we are not in Parliament or in Council where we can go to the Hansard. <laughs> but if, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if we were, Chair, we were going to go and uh, listen to that recording. You said Kosati will come and did not speak about the political report. I think for me, Chair, that's the first issue. So if there's going to be a change on decisions that we have, we have been taken and leadership is providing a new leader, uh, direction, that must be presented before Congress. Because Congress itself is a structure. I think we must appreciate that the Central Committee, which is a structure, special national Congress is above CC and this, and this National Congress is above the Special National Congress in CC. So these are structures of the Communist Party, and they must all, all be given space to take their decisions. The second issue, Chair, that we also want to emphasize on, whilst we can debate whether it's a norm or it's a tradition or not, but our main issue is that wittingly or unwittingly, we may begin to endorse what practically we have been seeing, that the Communist Party in relationship to the ANC 
is placed more or less in the same standard to leagues of the African National Congress. But comrades, can we, can we make sure that we don't go back to that? We talked about it yesterday. It's a fundamental we, issue no, no, for Steve, us, Chair. We, we're not, we're we not leave this thing on a day-to-day -day basis. Comrade, finish your debate and then we can't go back to the discussion we had yesterday. The no, no. Okay, Chair, the, it's fine. The debate, Chair, that we, we are proposing concretely in Congress, that messages of solidarity with our alliance partners here in the country that we are struggling with here in the country as opposed to fraternal organizations of other communist parties must come before the main message of the party which will be presented by the general secretary as a report of the work of the political ideological work of the party over the past five years that's what we are saying because these are our alliance partners that we are pursuing the same NDR with here in the country their reflection of the work of the party that it has been doing over the past five years must come before the key and main message of the party, which must set the tone for this Congress. That's our concrete proposal, Chair. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Comrade. Comrade, can I tell you, you are out of order. Because, wait, when I started this session, I said, we are going to be flexible, we are going to spread the messages of support. We will start with COSATU and then go to the Secretariat report. It's on record I said that. And I even asked if there are any objections. There was none. That's why I'm saying you are out of order, comrade. Let's see. There was another comrade here. That was Western Cape. Uh, thanks, Chair. Chairperson, my name is Mwedisi. My surname is Nopal. Uh, thank Chair. Maybe you don't, uh, you don't seem to appreciate what the Congress is saying to you as the chair of the session. There was a decision made yesterday, <clears throat> sorry, yesterday, which we were part of. The expectation, chair, is that the leadership was going to brief us what that management process is, and then we take a way forward. But um, that's what you all we expect as a Congress here, yeah, Chair, from the leadership. In fact, as part of the rules is that the steering committee, when there are some disputes, will make a recommendation to Congress as a way forward. So that decision was taken in line with that, Chair. That's what we are expecting here, yeah, Chair, uh, from today in relation to that. Because the, the input by the General Secretary before he speaks, that matter must be resolved because he speaks to whether the General Secretary will speak now or after the ANC. Thanks, Chair. Western Cape. Okay. There's a comrade behind you. I think it's a free state. Uh, thank you very much, Chair. Uh, my name is Sizam Dolo from the Free State. Uh, comrades would, would like to appeal to the Congress to accept the advance made by the Central Committee. We, have, we, we are correct, we have sharply raised our displeasure with the way that the the, the, the program has been constructed. So as we accept the, 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 the presentation made by the Central Committee, we are not saying, we are not saying they are correct or they are wrong. We are not saying this is a tradition or not a tradition. What you are trying to do is to is to accept is to accept ourselves as the party in the relationship that we have in the alliance that the alliance did not to see us as the party as the baby of the alliance we are not we are all equal partners in the alliance but here dear comrades we appeal 
that let's accept and then move forward. Thank you. Uh, comrades, I do not want to open this again. I do not want, I want to rule and we move forward. If the steering committee is ready with that answer, they can come, but will depend on the steering committee. But we cannot continue to debate this matter. I want to rule now. Uh, I am ruling. No, comrades, no. I am ruling now that we are not going to continue debating who comes first and so on. And we're very clear at the beginning. But I think you are correct by saying you are expecting a response from us. There you are correct. I wonder if the steering committee is ready with... Okay. So what we're going to do, comrades, wait. What I am, what I'm ruling again, let's continue with the report. We will get, we will get the report when the steering committee is ready. Uh, uh, you don't need to howl here. You don't need to howl, it's there in the rules. That's a ruling which I'm giving now. Do you want to challenge that ruling? Okay, YCL. Order. Order. Wait, wait, let's see. Let's give him. YCL, what do you want to say? Oh, point of order, yes. Uh, uh, chief, 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 please. Okay, let, let me take the point of order from uh, at the back. I'm not challenging the ruling. Yeah. Uh, comrades, Papa, please. Please, Papa. We don't want to be your equal, please. Don't behave the way we were uh, supposed to. The order is mine. Yeah, th thanks, Chair. My apology. Thanks, Chair. We are not challenging the ruling as the YCA. We entirely agree with your ruling. But, however, we, we are pleading with the leadership. You spoke about the culture, the tradition, and uh, as the YCL was saying, we are pleading that the Young Communist League speak before the party, before our parents. We don't want to have other views after our parents spoke. At least as the kids. Let's speak so that our parents listen and when the parents now come to the stage, they will say to the kids, I heard you and this is our view as the Thank parent. You, Th so Thank that you. is what we are pleading for. Thank you, Chair. There was a point of order there. There was a hand there at the back. Yes, the one who's waving the hand. Comrades. Delegates have to stand on top of tables just to request to speak because I've been sitting down, not me standing. They are the only ones who are sitting because they are on top of tables. It's organizing anarchy unnecessary. What we want to suggest, Chair, formally, is that YCL must speak, but we must also be consistent. If we accepted COSATU to speak before YCL, then we have no ground to stand and claim inconsistency on alliance speaking. Because if we agree that there's an established protocol like we're explaining, explaining YCL should have spoken before COSATU. We allowed that. And we adopted an agenda. The adopted agenda was not changed 
on when the political report will be presented. The only matter that is pending is the report back by the steering committee and the national officials as to whether the ANC president will speak after the political report or before. It does not mean the report must come to Congress when it's positive. The report must be given to Congress without allowing Congress to be asking why are we not answered. So the issue must be as YCL is speaking, the national or the steering committee must then be convened separately and deal with that matter. Once YCL finishes, there will be an answer from the steering committee and then the general secretary must not be hindered from presenting a political report because it might have problems on scheduled of times. As YCL speaks now, aside, steering committee must then sit and give Congress feedback. But what we must never do is to reject a chairperson's or summaries by the leadership. We must not reject that because we are bringing a wrong presidency in Congress where someone chairing concludes and says way forward, all of us are ready to reject that. It's unorganizational on running congresses. If it was not done in a province, so people from a province must not do it here. Thank you. Those who are going to speak, and I'm not inviting all of you to speak, those who are going to speak, the issue of the YCL speaking before the general secretary is closed. The issue which we must talk about, the report which you are expecting, when the steering committee is ready, they will table that report. Let's hear a case at end. Followed by, is that, is that counting? You want to, you want to come again, Western Cape? Thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, 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 Chair. Uh, firstly, uh, we are Moses Mapita province. And uh, we must, uh, Chair, firstly, uh, appreciate that now you have resolved on the issue of the YCL speaking. And we want to support that uh, YCL speaking before the General Secretary speaks. And according to our own understanding, uh, Chair, that was the only remaining matter on your ruling. That was the only remaining matter on your ruling, Chair, that uh, the YCL was not disputing anything else except on your ruling, except that the YCL must come first before the General Secretary. And that matter, we think that it has been resolved. And therefore, your ruling stand, Chair. We think from now on, Chair, from this point, we don't think that you must continue entertain this debate, Comrade. To some of us, it's painful. To some of us, it's painful, Comrade, because we think that we are, we are attending the Congress of the South African Communist Party. And if you are in a Congress of the South African Communist Party, what we need to be entertaining in a program is that dialectically, because that's how we need to debate issues as a South African Communist Party, that dialectically, what material change does it make if the General Secretary is presenting the report of the party, which is not responding to anyone else, uh, uh, giving the report of the party to us as a Congress. And therefore, Chair, we think that from now, your ruling must stand because that was the only issue and we have resolved it. Thank you very much, Chair. Sorry, Sir, sorry, sorry, Chief. What are you supporting? <laughs> Chair, you said, you said, Chair, the, the YCL, 
the YCL, that matter now that the YCL must speak is resolved. That's the first thing that we are supporting, Chair. Secondly, Chair, we are supporting that nothing must hinder the General Secretary of the party from giving the report to the Congress. And after the YCL, we want the General Secretary to come and give the report to the Chair. Thank you very much. Then the, when the steering committee is ready, you can report any time because we don't think that has anything uh, to do with the report of the General Secretary. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh, there was Khauti. Thank you very much, uh, Comrade Chair. Comrade Chair, we, we want to uh, talk on two issues. The first one is that um, the appeal by the Free State, which reaffirms the ruling that you have made, should stand. That is the first point we want to raise. The second point, Chair, is that um, it's on a procedural matter of how we conducting the Congress. One, Chair, is that once we have had democratic discussions, we must allow the center to hold. Because if we are going to split our democracy from its center, we are going to have anarchy. So, Chair, related to that is Congress is not run in a laboratory where all factors are held constant. In a Congress, the leadership that is presiding over the Congress will from time to time make decisions and adjustments depending on a number of factors. And I think if it's Congress, we strip the leadership of its mandate to run, guide, make tactical decisions to run the Congress, I think we're making a very big mistake. We want to appeal to Congress that we should afford the leadership in line with democratic centralism, the opportunity to guide Congress whilst not taking away the role of delegates. In that context, Chair, we also want to say, in line with what Comrade Matot has said, which is correct, we can't have our summaries and decisions paraded after they have been made. Once decisions and summaries are made, we believe they've taken every view into account and they should stand because treating summaries and decisions or directives with contempt undermine our democratic centralism. We want to appeal, Chair, we are in a Congress of a vanguard party, not of a mass organization. And we therefore want to plead that what Free State said and what you said be sustained and that the table should be decisive in defending our character as the party. Thank you very much. Uh, Comrade uh, Western Cape, you are the last. Was your hand up? No, Free State, you've spoken. Yeah, uh, thanks very much, Chair. Uh, There is something called intellectual humility. The capacity to admit and appreciate when you have errored. And, and such is very important for us as, to us as leadership. Let's accept leadership errored and allowed Kosatu to speak before the YCA. We often get annoyed and irritated when in the ANC, the party Kosatu speak after the Youth League or the Women's League. Now here in the party, we let Kosatu speak. So we errored there and the, and the program is clear, the YCL. Therefore, the YCL should speak just before the General Secretary. Because the issues they raise, they may be conversing and the chairs may respond to them. 
the chair of the YCL was correct that they may say things which may contradict the general secretary or the political report. That's the first thing. The second thing relates to the issue of the ANC speaking tomorrow. We want to appeal to Congress, agreeing with other provinces such as Free State, to say one, the program was developed in such a manner and leadership era. Congress was given space to add their views on the matter. And uh, we expressed our displeasure about it. And therefore, let the president of the ANC speak as scheduled. And do what happened in one Congress. Should the president say anything contra which perhaps are uncomfortable, the leadership come and respond immediately. That will help. So for sake of progress, let's focus on pertinent issues and even his input is quite important and it must be engaged and leadership will need to prepare as he presents his message. On those basis, let's move, you allow the YCL, the GS comes, the president come tomorrow. Thanks, sir. Thank you, comrades. Uh, comrades, what is very clear, you are not one on this issue of the YCL. And I don't want, no, there are those who are saying they must speak after. There are those who are saying they must speak. Wait, wait comrades. Wait. Don't howl. Now, I'm going to rescind my decision and immediately call the YCL to come and speak. <laughs> Long live, long live, Sasko, long live. Long live, 
Long live. 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 The General Sec of our party, Comrade Blade, Lerita Ming, Koshi Path, the National Office Bearers of uh, the party, the entire Central Committee, our National Chairperson of the YCL, the NOPs, the entire National Committee of the YCL, President of COSATU, the entire CEC present, the affiliates of COSATU that are with us, the leadership of the ANC present. Uh, I'm not sure if Comrade Quete uh, today, because yesterday it was said that today will be the national chair, so already that today has arrived, uh, it will not be the CC. The national uh, chair of the ANC and the entire NEC members uh, present. I saw the president of SASCO, I'm not sure if today is here the convener of the ANC Youth League and YTT. At least we are happy that uh, you managed to accept uh, this invite because you have always absconded uh, invites of your own sister organization. But at least we appreciate that you are here today. The international guests present most importantly, the esteemed delegates uh, to this 15th National Congress of the party. And indeed, we are humbled today to be here, Comrade uh, Chair, to this watershed moment. And we say it's a watershed moment because five years ago we were here. And while we're here, the then Deputy President of the ANC, while he was addressing us, he begged this Congress to pause. And today we're happy we're back at the same venue, which means it's easy to can now press a play. Yes. We're here, comrades to analyze not only ourselves, but most importantly to remember that as a Vanguard party, we are there for at last. And indeed, it is very much important from time to time to analyze the state of the working class, to analyze the state of our national democratic revolution. And as historically correctly captured, that if undeterred, the NDR shall be a direct route to socialism. So it means once it can be delayed or detected already, the road to socialism is delayed. What becomes most important, comrades, is for us to use this opportunity in understanding that this Congress must be able to rejuvenate hope for the hopeless masses of our people. This Congress must set a tone even for the Congress that is coming in September of the advanced detachment of the working class. Because as a vanguard, we need to give direction. And surely the advanced detachment of the working class will then find it easy to follow. But surely when then the Federation asks critical questions about the party, 
It means we need to use this Congress as the party to reflect where are we in relation to those that we represent as a class. And surely the party in this 101 years, it has been at the center of advancing key struggles for the liberation of this country. It has been in the forefront which is coming out of the 15th uh, National Congress of the South African Communist Party, of course, that addressed by Dr. Bladen Zamande held back for a bit. We'll take you back as soon as it happens.